Good morning students. Today we are going to learn about properties of determinant. There are six properties of determinant. Here first property is the value of determinant remains unchanged if its rows and the columns are intersensed. Nang properties of determinant sa property taruk laygani taruk tagi manung da ahan ba property sa kaino harakan da value of determinant remains unchanged if its rows and the columns are intersensed. Nang i determinant ama da rows ka column gi intersensed da raga determinant ang pangni ko adu gi determinant gi value do ahan gi value do ka chap manani heba. Sige theorem sa prop tower sa let delta represents the determinant whose elements are a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, and c3. Then expand this determinant along fast row. We get a1. Right determinant obtained by deleting fast row and first column. We get b2, b3, c2, and c3. Sign convention minus the mlaani ko. Right a2. Then write the determinant obtained by deleting fast row and second column. Remaining elements are b1, b3, c1, and c3. Then write the third element a3 and sign will be plus. Then find the determinant obtained by deleting fast row and the third column. Remaining elements are b1, b2, c1, and c2. Sitare ko. Si pange, si gimatung da si expander, expand the determinant of other two, A1. Product of diagonal elements B2, C3 minus B3 and C2 minus A2. B1, C3 minus B3 and the C1 plus last element A3, B1, C2 minus B2 and C1. Then write this equation number 1. Si gisay, equation 1 dara si ko. Ato pa, determinant ang lower si. Let us consider delta 1 be the determinant obtained by intersensing the rows and the columns of delta. Stepi riba, delta hai ba determinant si gi. Rows ka kalam gi intersense ta raga pang ba. Ato pa, determinant si delta 1 dara ko. Yudi, this first row becomes first column and second row becomes second column and the third row becomes third column. So, we get delta 1. Since A1, A2, A3 are the elements of first column in delta 1. Delta 1 gi first column oi graba nina. Sige A1, A2, A3 siga compare to wulay na wakwa. Delta 1 se first column da in expander. Expanding delta 1 along first column we get delta 1 first right A1. Sign convention gi matung ina plus minus plus sign laan ni kwa. A1 lay re, then find the determinant obtained by deleting first row and first column day. Remaining elements are B2, C2, B3, and C3. Si fang e kwa. Then write minus A2, then find the determinant obtained by deleting second row and the first column. Remaining elements are B1, C1, B3, C3 plus. And last element is A3. Find the determinant obtained by deleting third row and the first column. Third super row, sige first column ka e, do di ka na ka na lem hore, B1, C1, and B2, and C2. Then expand this determinant. For first determinant, A1, product of diagonals, B2, C3 minus B3 and C2. Si fang e kwa. Then for second term, A2, B1, C3 minus B3 and C1. Then for third term, A3 into B1, C2 minus B2 and C1. Si de la riba, Equation siga, first equation siga compare to. Compare to kung matamda, sige expression sa left hand side of equation number 1 is same as this expression. And so, delta 1 is equal to delta. Nangyay delta 1 sa kanagaman na yun na fangyaw sig, delta ka fangyaw ko. Ito na property number 1 na hay si kayo no, the value of determinant remain unchanged if it rows and the columns are intersensed. Nangyay rows ka column ka intersensed tau ragasu, nangyay determinant ki value do, chak manan ni heba. Then, Property number 2. Property 2 si mo yeng si ko. If any two rows or columns of a determinant are intersense, then the sign of determinant senses. Habi di nanggi determinant amagi any two rows na trigi any two columns sa intersense tau ba matam da sign of the determinant sa sense tau ni ba. Plus ta gi minus ta sense tau ni minus ta leram ba do kay da sense tau ba ni plus ta ko. Proof, let delta be a determinant whose elements are A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, C1, C2, and C3. Now, let's expand this determinant along fast row. Fast row, the expander record A1, remaining element B2, B3, and C2, and C3. Then write minus A2, then find the determinant obtained by deleting fast row and second column. Remaining elements are B1, B3, C1, and C3. Then write the third element A3. Determinant obtained by deleting first row and the third column. Remaining elements are B1, B2, C1, and C2. Expand the 
a1 multiplied by b2 c3 minus b3 into c2 minus 4 second term a2 b1 c3 minus b3 and c1 plus a3 and third element b1 c2 minus b2 and c1 write the question number one let delta one be the determinant obtained by intersensing first row and the third row of the delta then is the period of delta i have a determinant sigi first over row sigi third over row sigi intersense the raga pang by determinant se akwana delta 1 haina law rekwa and so delta 1 is equal to this third row becomes first row and this first row becomes third row for delta 1 so my nangi first over sigi third over sigi intersense the raga pang by determinant se delta 1 u hale kwa or a1 a2 a3 are the elements of fast row of delta delta you know fast row or give sigi delta one the da1 a2 a3 say karamba elementare they are the elements of the third row of the delta one so we should expand this determinant delta one along r3 we get delta one is equal to a1 find the determinant obtained by deleting fast row and the A1, A1, E one A1, E one 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 a3 ire find the determinant obtained by deleting third row and the third column third row ga third column ga the remaining elements in c1 c2 b1 and b2 tarekwa then expand this determinants for the first term a1 multiply by b3 c2 minus b2 and c3 for second term a2 multiply b3 c1 minus b1 and c3 plus a3 for this determinant b2 c1 minus b1 and c2 so my phang e kwa sigi element siga sigi left hand right hand side of equation number one siga compare tau ge hai ta raga de sina b3 c2 sina b3 c2 See the first time the second time the mana the vakar lay rekwa. Then taking minus one common from first time, second time and the third time we get. For the first time minus come along to the intersense this first time and second time. First the second is intersense the right. Then we write B2 C3 minus B3 and C2. See minus sign C2 times equal. Taking minus one common from this this expression then we intersense first term and second term c first term ga second ga intersense the run and b1 c3 minus b3 and c1 c1 plus then for the third term intersense this first term and second term and this one to know b1 c2 minus b2 and c1 then compare this expression with the right hand side of the equation number one and it's a compare the run Ni se compare to buka na first time first time equal second second third third equal or equal and therefore this delta one is equal to minus of delta. Ado na nanggi delta one sa kaya gaman ra ni minus of delta. Yung delta na plus three already delta one sa minus three tado ni. If value of delta is equal to minus three then value of delta one is plus three. Habi di amna plus three buka na ato ba mado minus ta ra ni. Now let's come to property number three. If any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical, then the value of the determinant is zero. Value of the determinant is zero. Nangi property number three na hise kay na. If any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical, nangi determinant amad row ani na traga column ani sa. Jap manerba. Jap ma identical means equal o itara di then the value of determinant is kay gamanera ni zero tani ba. Let delta be a determinant in which the elements of first row and the second row are identical. And so the elements of delta are a1, a2, a3, a1, a2, a3, b1, b2, b3. Sipirekwa. And let delta 1 be the determinant obtained by intersensing first row and the second row. It's the period of first row and second row intersens the row of pang ba del. Ato ba determinant naman sa delta 1 ta halikwa. The distance delta 1 since r1 and the r2 are identical so 
Delta 1 R A1 A2 A3 A1 A2 A3 B1 B2 B3 Adum same or aga lai rane ba Adu nga sai property number 2 na kai hai ge Nangi any two rows or any two columns of a determinant Se intersense ta uta raga di The value of determinant is then J7 neva Adu si si Delta 1 This Delta 1 can be represented by minus Delta By using property number 2 And this determinant is same as this determinant Delta And so it is represented by this delta delta represent the record transpose this minus delta from left hand side to right hand side it should be two times of delta equals to zero since two cannot be equal to zero so this delta will be equal to zero two have a set zero gamma na we are the delta so in a zero salary because in this property so that if any two rows or columns of a determinant are identical then the value of determinant is zero. So, we can see that if the determinant is not any two rows or any two columns, we can see that the determinant is zero. So, we can see that the determinant is zero. Next property, property number four. If each element of a row or column of a determinant is multiplied by a constant k, then its value gets multiplied by the constant k. Now, property number four is the same thing. रो अमा नेटर का कलम अमा की इलिमेंट में आम से कना ना मल्टीप्लाई तो रबा इफ इस इलिमेंट ऑफ ए रो और कलम ऑफ ए डिटरमिनेंट इस मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए कांस्टेंट के दें इट्स पहलू गेट्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय के कहीं ना मल्टीप्लाई तो रने की है ना का लेट डेल्टा बी ए डिटरमिनेंट हुस इलिमेंट्स आर ए वन ए टू ए थ्री First row the expander rego A1, remaining elements are B2, B3, C2 and C3. So expander row B2, C3 minus B3 and C2 minus then write A2. For second row minus A2, minus A2 seka asiko. A, C ma baka adi first row ga second column ga remaining elements are B1, B3, C1 and C3. So expander row B1, C3 minus B3 and C1. Si ma second row ngi fangani for third row write A3. Sima pa kak se ko. Find the determinant of then by deleting first row and the third column. Remaining elements are B1, B2, C1 and C2. By expanding this determinant, we get B1, C2 minus B2 and C1. Si ba wde equation number 1 tharama si. Then let delta 1 be the determinant of then by multiplying all the elements of the first row by k. Nangi delta adu gi first row may am sta k na multiply ta raga phang ba determinant sa delta 1 o hello. Dede k a1, k a2, k a3, b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. Hai di first row kaktang da k na multiply ta raga. Then expanding this delta 1 along first row we get delta 1. First element is k a1. Then find the determinant of 10 by deleting first row and first column we get b2, b3, c2 and c3 minus k times of a2. Find the determinant of then by deleting first row and the second column b1 b3 c1 and c3 plus last element is k times of a3 and see the first row ga first third column ga seka a do the b1 b2 c1 and c2 se fange the expand out to expand out ready b2 c3 minus b3 and c2 second element is k times of a2 b1 c3 minus b3 and c1 then for third term k times of a3 b1 c2 minus b2 and c1 Si pangi ko. Then si k, k, k sa. Since k is common to first term, second term, and the third term. Common loy ura. Taking k common from these terms, we get a1, b2, c3 minus b3, c2 minus a2. Si loy lem hore ko. Si ki sa. Kana gama na yi hara di. He left a right hand side of equation number 1 sa. Si ki sa ka chak man na ni ba. Do na. From right hand side of equation number 1, this delta 1 is equal to k times of delta. Property number 4 na kai hai, if any rows or columns of a determinants that scalar am na multiply tau taraga di, nangi ko na pangi ba determinant to, ha nangi determinant ki value do the constant do na multiply tau ba ga mana ni ba. And for property number 5, if some or all the elements of a row or column of a determinant are expressed as the sum of two or more terms, then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two more determinants. 
If some or all elements of a row or column of a determinant are expressed as the sum of two terms or more terms, then the determinant can be expressed as the sum of two determinants. Manu mentor si kay no nangi that determinant ang pire. Determinant si gi one of the rows or one of the columns si gi magi term sing se. Sum of two terms the loan expressed or of. Chwain nangi number sing se. Sum of two uh, terms the expressed out aragadi this determinant can be expressed as the sum of two determinants determinant kaya on expressed of we have a, a new on expressed of we have a and let delta be a determinant in which the first elements of the first terms are a1 plus lambda 1 a2 plus lambda 2 a3 plus lambda 3 have a nangi first term i am say sum of two terms the expressed of requa and remaining elements are b1 b2 b3 and c1 c2 and c3 now we shall prove that in a proof of this, okay, no? this delta can be expressed as the sum of two determinants. Then we call determinant any sig element sing se. Kamaina la e herede. Sigi first term, first term sing se na determinant and form to run a1, a2, a3. Sima. Then remaining elements same or plus. Then determinant, second determinant sigi first term, uh, the first row element sing se. Lambda 1, Lambda 2, Matha na kay laka ni, Lambda 3. Sige mo ang dokoy na prove tau tali. Expanding determinant along R1 we get. Sige determinant sa. Kwe na kay dex panto re. Fast row dex panto re ko. Determinant give values is the layer. Your delta is equal to A1 plus Lambda 1, A2 plus Lambda 2, A3 plus Lambda 3. Elements of first row a1 plus lambda 1, second row, uh, second element is a2 plus lambda 2, and third element is a3 plus lambda 3. Then find the determinant obtained by deleting first row and first column. See my passing of the lady. b2, b3, c2, and c3 minus second element a2 plus lambda 2, b1, b3, and c1 and c3 plus a3 plus lambda 3. See my passing of the b1, b2, and c1 and c2. See my so expand the risk and then expand, expand these determinants a1 plus lambda 1 b2 c3 minus b3 and c2 minus a2 plus lambda 2 b1 multiplied by c3 minus b3 into c1 plus third element is a3 plus lambda 3 then b1 multiplied by c2 minus b2 multiplied by c1 See expression say a one is multiply to only lambda one is multiply to only. This expression should be multiplied by a two and lambda two. This expression should be multiplied by a three and lambda three. So a one, a two, a three na multiply to was a grouping same as ka a one multiply by this expression. This expression multiply by a two minus sign, and this expression multiply by a three. Then lambda one. Lambda 1 ta me ko. Lambda 2 ki su. Plus minus t. Minus ta re. And last ki. Plus. Plus t. Plus wain cha le ko. So yi whole expression che. Kay ka maana ni. Hara ka da. Expansion of a determinant. Amba ka maana ni. Whose elements are. A1. A2. A3. B1. B2. B3. C1. C2. And C3. A1 ta ma di. B2. C3. Minus. B3. And C2. Si fa nge ko. Second element minus a2. Si kak ta le na ka lo. Ka na ka na ta ra ni. B1 C3 minus B3 and C1 plus. And third element is a3. B1 C2 minus B2 and C1 plus. Third element is lambda 1, lambda 2 and lambda 3. So my interro fa nga ni ko. Ito na nanggi determinant amagi term sing se. Sum of two terms to express the rakta ragadi. This determinant can be expressed as the sum of two determinants. Determinant ani the term by an bagi determinant sing sina first term na form to ba ani su bagi determinant sing sina second term na form to ba ko adu ka remaining elements ay tadi first row na traga third sub row second row na traga third sub row si di elements sing sa same mora ni next property property number six this is the last property for determinant determinant gi aru ba properties ni ko Property number six, if two is element of any row or column of a determinant, the equimultiples of corresponding elements of other row or column are added, then the value of determinant remains the same. That is, the value of determinant remains since if we multiply the operation, 
R I tends to R I plus K times of R Z or C I tends to C I plus K times of C Z. I will do uh, elementary row transformation not really elementary column transformation ki third sub operation se c apply to hamang hai se kai no to is element of any row or column of determinant the equi multiples of corresponding elements of other row are added then the value of determinant remains the same hai ba koi na atopa row amada scalar am na multiply to roga atopa row amada half se laga na determinant am phanga ne ba adu gi determinant gi value do ha na gi determinant se ga chama na ni ba ko and first let us consider a determinant delta whose elements are a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 and c3 and so let delta 1 be the determinant obtained by applying a hujik se row the whole ก็อนุนกรรมดอลลาร์เซียนี่ R1 a1 plus k times of c1, a2 plus k times of c2, and the a3 plus k times of c3. Then write the remaining elements b1, b2, b3, c1, c2, c3. And by property number 5, all by property number 5, see the fast row elements in the sum of two times the later. This determinant can be expressed as the sum of two determinants. And so, for the first determinant, elements are a1, a2, a3. See the record for second determinant, it will be k times of c1, k times of c2, k times of c3, and remaining elements will be the same. For a1, a2, a3, this determinant is same as given delta. Delta is equal to plus by property number. Property number kya hoi gise? Property number four na ko. K times of c1, k times of c2, and k times of c3. Have the all the elements of fast row multiply by a constant k na ko. Then this k is a kya ga mana re? Nangi value of determinants to kya ki multiple ga mana ki. Do na si kya si thamme and write c1, c2, c3, b1, b2, b3, and c1, c2, and c3. By property number three. Property number three na mo yeng si ko. Si ki fast row super si ka si ki third row super si ka chak mana iba. If any two rows or any two columns of a determinant are identical, then its its value will be equal to zero. Si value si zero chala ni maram kai gino hanga di nangi fast row si ka kanaga chak mana gre third row si ka chak mana rekwa delta plus k into zero k into zero is equal to zero and plus delta is delta and hence delta one will be equal to delta. Mana minter si kai no kui na. Third sub operator se elementary transformation ki kalam do oi kira rows do oi kira si apply to wakanda nangi determinant ki value sa chance lay roi hai. Let's end here for today.